Hello YouTube, back again with a follow-up video in regards to Walmart's Guild Education program in which I posted over a year ago and throughout that time I noticed a lot of comments, a lot of questions in regards to how the program works and which all I did was pretty much share my experience on if it, the program was worth it or not which got me to where I'm at today. So looking at the comments, I went ahead and deep dove a bit, looked at questions that were more frequently asked than others so what i did was i wrote down the five most frequently asked questions in which i'm going to go ahead and answer some of those questions um from what from my understanding so let's go ahead and get started with that question number one how can i see what programs are available so when you enroll for the guild education you do that application Throughout that process, it does give you a list of those programs that are available, which when I first when I first applied, the only ones that were available were business management, supply chain logistics management. So I chose supply chain logistics, transportation and logistics management. Now there's actually a lot of other programs. There's healthcare management. I actually have not gone back in there to go check, but I know they added a lot more. So there's a lot more opportunity there. So you might want to take a look at that but you do have to start the application to be able to look at some of those programs. All right, so let's go on to the second question. How uh, can I choose any college? The answer to that is no. There is actually a list of, throughout the list of programs, it actually displays the college that's going to be providing that degree plan for that specific major that you decide to choose. Uh, from what from my experience, there was only three different colleges at the time. I think there's a few more, but I did Bellevue University as mine, which was located in um, Lincoln. I believe it was Lincoln, Nebraska, or no, Omaha, Nebraska. I'm sorry, I got to know my states a little bit better. But I, I did graduate from uh, Omaha, Nebraska, and I did make the drive over there. Unfortunately, there was some weather inconvenience, and we had to make a drive over there to make my graduation on time. Question number three. And this one is actually... Oh, I'm sorry. Got to fix my camera. This one question actually does get asked a lot. Do they offer master's degree programs? The answer to that, unfortunately... Um, Guild Education only offers bachelor's uh, up to bachelor bachelor of science degrees. But uh, adding on to that, if you do have a bachelor's degree, you unfortunately don't qualify for any Guild Education benefit programs. So if you do decide you want to do certification programs or leadership uh, skill programs, uh, the certificates, make sure to do those before pursuing that bachelor's degree just a recommendation because once you have that bachelor's degree you actually can't apply for any other uh, type of program i did try it myself and message that it gives you is that once you applied for once once you have a bachelor's degree you no longer are eligible for any other guild guild programs question number four what happens if i quit walmart if you quit Walmart and you are currently enrolled, you're taking classes, you are able to finish the current class that you are taking and you will uh, still keep all your classes. You won't, be, you won't be required to pay back if you are dropped from everything, if you do decide to drop after your employment. However, you can stay, you can stay in the program, but the expenses are going to have to come out of your own pocket. You do have to contact the guild advisor and inform them that you are no longer with that employer and you do have to go through student advising. So just be careful with that because it is, it is a process that they do have to remove you from the guild benefits. And if you do decide to still pursue that, that degree, you still may do so, but it does come out of your own expense. Or if you do qu uh, qualify for financial aid on your own being, then uh, uh, you might want to do that. But I wouldn't recommend uh, quitting Walmart at the time if you are trying to pursue that degree. Do I have to be working for Walmart? So basically tied up to that other question. 
depending on the company you're working for, it's not just Walmart that offers the Guild Education Program. I did not look at the other companies that do, but if your your company does, I mean, you may want to look into it. Uh, maybe uh, another employer that you are possibly with uh, offers Guild Education and you can pursue whatever degree plan that Guild offers. So that's basically the most frequently asked questions that I saw on the other on the comments of the previous video. If you all have any other questions, feel free to leave them below. Um, I will be, try to respond as frequently as possible. I don't always look at my YouTube, but that's pretty much from my from my understanding and um, my experience on basically the rules and regulations as far as um, taking part in the Walmart's Guild Education benefits. So other than that, that's pretty much all I got for you today. I will see you all in the next video.